first husband is faced with a few home truths. The house needs you to go out and work. I'm finding it so hard to actually go out and get a job because it is so hard to do it. And childcare is replaced by room service. Hello, what do you want for dinner? Mum does um, forget about us downstairs working. You just get bored of watching the TV because so you have to watch it every day. In the idyllic village of St Agnes Cornwall, for publican Sam Stevens, the demands of running her busy pub are the number one priority. Uh, hey, right. 520, darling, please. Thank you. Have you got the 20? Running a pub 24-7. I love it. I've, so I've got an extended family. Downstairs is my front room. It's the biggest front room that there is. And they all come here to see us, basically. Working on average a 14-hour day, 34-year-old Sam rarely you has a spare minute. I do everything. <laughs> I'm Wonder Woman. <laughs> well, I was just going to have a drink with child a minute, if you don't mind doing one. The usual. 33-year-old Ivor believes his superpower is charming the customers. I lean over the bar talking to the same person for 20 minutes and move on to the next and the next and the next. I don't class that as work. <laughs> Sam sort of does a lot of the work behind the bar. I do a lot of the talking to some of the people. Hospitality. Yeah. <laughs> Living and working under the one roof, the Thompson Stevens family have a unique way of keeping on top of meal times. Hello. Tea's ready. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Can you um, put the cutlery in that out in the kitchen then and I'll bring it up to you? Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. The intercom system is brilliant because we are always here, but it's not the best situation for the children. Well, eating up here by ourselves, I'd actually like to um, get a pub table where we can all eat together. By day, Callum and Taomi keep busy. Callum plays rugby twice a week. He has uh, scouts, uh, he does gig rowing. Taomi, she has uh, cubs and horse riding. Netball, football, um, keyboard lessons. But once back home, it's a different story. Most of the time we either stay up here playing our playstations or watching telly. Our little kingdom without <laughs> Mum and Ivor. <laughs> In Grey's End, 23-year-old Natalie Rayfield has a thoroughly modern approach to her relationship. I'm the breadwinner. I go out to work and Jay just cleans the house, does the kids and makes me dinner. <laughs> As the sole earner, Self-confessed workaholic Natalie holds down three jobs, working up to 80 hours a week. Her day starts at 5 a.m. as she heads off to her first job of the day as a security guard. A couple of nights a week, Natalie also works on the door of a local club. Now check your ID, please, mate. Yep. And fits in regular shifts at the local yeah, cabin alongside her mum. Zero seven, Paul, you got POB? type of work Jay can get doesn't bring in the same sort of money as what I can earn. I can bring home probably the equivalent a month to what he would bring home in two. So it just makes more sense for us to do it this way. I like doing it, I like doing it. Yeah, you can do it. Daddy will hold the pot. Sprinkle it all over. The couple's arrangement suits 21-year-old Jay. I don't mind actually staying at home. It was something which appealed to me because it's nice to be in your kid's life and it's nice to see their first steps, their first teeth, their first word. It's absolutely brilliant. Are you going to open the door for Daddy? Thank you, Mr. That's good. Outdoor door. When Zach's at school, I can sit down. I relax for a bit, put my feet up, watch the TV with Kai or I'm on the computer playing on computer games or doing bits and pieces. Oh, go on then. Pull hard. Oh. Mummy time is very rare. 
So when I do get time with my kids, I do like to spend it with the kids actually doing something. We like to sit down and, on a Sunday and have a nice meal, uh, traditionally a Sunday roast with my mum. Both wives are leaving home and they have agreed to have no contact with their families during this time. Love you. And you. Alright, see you soon, okay? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> like pub. Oh, please tell me this ain't the lounge. <laughs> this is a bit small. Where does everybody sit? It smells of smoke. Definitely smokers. Ferrets, mmm. Not so sure about. I wouldn't personally have pets in the, um, in the lounge. Doesn't look like they eat much in this kitchen. And I haven't seen a dining room yet, so I'm presuming they sit in the front room and eat off their laps. Oh, he's a coast guard. So he obviously doesn't run the bar then. That mean looks like it's my job. <laughs> obviously smoke in the house with children. I don't like that idea. It's not right. Each wife has written a manual as a we guide to the running manual. of their home. We have a full house here with our children, Zach four, who is mine from a previous relationship, and Kai one, as well as all our exotic pets. I'm sure you can't wait to meet them. I think I've met most of them. As far as I'm concerned, downstairs is our front room and we welcome everyone here every single day. Oh, that's why they've got such a small front room. That explains it. <laughs> Normally get home from work between 7.30 and 8 on a weeknight traffic permitting. Shit, that's a long day. And that's a lot of time to be away from the children. I was a huge character and is well known by everyone in the village, which means you'll usually find him on the wrong side of the bar. Right. Sounds like she runs most of the bar and he just enjoys the bar life. I bring home £385 a week. Jay earns nothing. This is ridiculous. I can't believe that he's quite happy not to provide for his family. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. Hi, I'm Ivor. I'm Natalie. Hi, Natalie, all right. Hi, yeah. This is Tammy. Hi there. You must be Callum. And this yeah. is Callum. Hi, Hi yeah. I'll take it uh, you've realised that you're in a pub. Yes, I <laughs> did see the big pub downstairs. <laughs> the plan for tonight, unfortunately, is on the last Thursday of every month, I'm a member of uh, St Agnes Coast Guard Cliff Rescue Team. So at half past six, I have to leave, which is unfortunate <laughs> um, because tonight in the pub, we've got a band. Um, right. It's going to be quite busy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And from Kai and that one's from me. From me. Thank you that very much. From, that one's from me. That one's from me. And that, and that one's, one's from Kai. How do you know our name? Because I'm not magic. And what's my name then, Mr? Daddy. <laughs> Daddy what? Daddy J. J. Is this J? Hi Jay, I'm right. Sam. Right. You alright? Where do you work? <laughs> I own a pub. I said, where do you work? Yeah, it's... It's like a restaurant. Like She's quite intelligent and I was more scared about so having someone who doesn't know anything or know much. I think we'll probably learn quite a lot. Cup of tea? Yes, please. As Sam settles in, she tries to get her head around Natalie's work schedule. Reading the, the manual, she leaves for work before they get up. In the way before and they get she up. She comes. She, she comes, comes home in. after they've gone to bed. Just generally. just before with Kai, it's a little while before then. But Zach is just before, and if he's been good, I let him stay up to see Natalie because it's nice for Natalie as well to see him. Yeah. And he is a mummy's boy. Yeah, it's just all rushing around. A bit nervous until I find it all. I'm just going to be a bit on edge, I think. <laughs> it's not just orders from downstairs keeping that busy. Hello, what do you want for dinner? Ham, egg and chips, please, with 
onion rings. Right, okay, nice and easy. Right, thank you. Bye. Bye. When you've got a chance, can I get a ham, egg and chips uh -huh. with onion rings um, and a chicken chunks with onion rings and chips? Right, yours was the ham, wasn't it? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. There you go, love. Thank you. You alright eating that? Yeah. yeah. Alright then, give us a shout if you need anything, okay? Okay. Ivor is back from Coast Guard training. Um, this is what generally happens, is right. like um, everyone works hard and I get in the way. Okay. And I'll have a pint of cold Guinness if you don't mind. Sam basically yeah. does most of the work. Um, right, that's what she, it says yeah. in the manual. Either tend to be more social. <laughs> snatches a moment to check on Callum and Taomi. This is the first time I've had a chance to come up and check and make sure they've gone to bed. And it's now half past ten. <laughs> Ivor seems like a nice enough guy. Doesn't seem to do very much. I've not quite worked out what his role is yet. But I'm sure I'll get to the bottom of it. First, get the clothes ready. Put them in the washing machine, uh, wash them, tumble dry them, did the dishwasher. I don't mind doing the child care, you know, it's something which I love doing because uh, it's being with my own kids, so I get to see how they grow up. It's like if you're at work and things like that, you don't get to see their first two, their first steps, their first word, and things like that. So it's nice. This is the bit you've got to get right or you'll have beer all over you. This is why I didn't want to attempt it So myself. just loosely in your fingers like that. Yep. Get it in ready and then just whack. hard whack. And then if it starts leaking, don't panic, just give it another little tap. Because it's, it's tapered and it'll go in and it'll stop the beer leaking. I mind out of the way, I don't want to get covered in beer. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm pointing in a certain direction so I don't get No, it'll just come straight out all over you if you don't get it right. This way? Yeah. Did you get used to that slant? I don't think a lot of people realise how hard it is to run a pub. It's not just working behind the bar. <laughs> it really is hard. Sam's on to her second job of the day, manning the phones at a cab office with oh, Natalie's yeah. mum, Sandra. Station taxis. Natalie works here Wednesdays and Thursday evenings, is it? Yeah. But why can't he do it? Oh, no. <laughs> No? OK. He's had a couple of jobs, but he don't keep them. He don't mind spending all the time with the kids. I mean, he was saying to me last night, he does everything at his own pace, in his own time. Yeah. So... Which is not always the fastest of times, because he does like to spend a lot of time on the computer. I was just about to say, that she deserves a bloody medal. I'm really flagging now. Been up since the crack of dawn. And then, of course, there's her Friday evening job. Which makes my day even longer. And um, obviously, yeah, no children until tomorrow. Ivor's gone missing, so Natalie's left home before. And upstairs, it's another action packed night for the kids on their own. I'm just playing the PlayStation. I'm quite bored. And then I'll go to bed. <laughs> and I just get bored of watching the TV, fed up with it, really. Mm -hmm. Ivor's been called out on a Coast Guard call, um, possible missing persons, so he's had to run off. So basically I'm sort of left in charge to try and sort things out. At the moment I'm sort of trying to juggle between kids, bar, and I think I'm going to see how it goes. It might be that I have to sort of concentrate more on one than the other. Hi Callum, it's Natalie. I'm a little bit busy down here, so can you get yourself into bed please? Alright, thank you very much. Alright, bye. Sam rushes home to change for her third job of the day. Jay's working at a more leisurely pace. He's been here all day, today, and I haven't seen 
that there's anything different from when I walked in yesterday, apart from more washing in the washing basket. I shall um, see you later on. You'll be yes. up when I get yeah, back. No, I'm always up. Okay. All right, cool. I shall see you later. See you later. I think Sam's got a pretty good picture of how the family works. Natalie is always working 24-7. After holding the Ford's barmaid, mum and general dog's body, Natalie tackles Ivor on his role in the pub. I mean, Sam does say that you do like to have a chat with all the customers and things like that, yeah. and that she would like a little bit more help. A lot of the time, I just get in the way. But other times, I'll go and sit, you know, around the other side of the bar with one of the locals, or I'll have a game of dance with Kevin over here. And yeah. you know, you could say quite easily say that's not working, but you know, it is because I'm not sitting upstairs watching the TV. What's it like working here in the pub with the children around you all the time? It's like four individuals under one roof. I mean, even the one day a week sitting down for a meal together, it just makes so much of a difference. It is, it is a bit hard. And they do have plenty of time to actually make space for a sit-down meal. I mean, I always thought, oh, we don't have time for that, but I managed to make time. It's just a matter of knowing when to do it. Hi, good boy. I've not seen you for ages. It's going good today. Um, it's lovely to see the children. Yeah. Seems like an age since I saw Kai, so it was lovely to see him and spend a bit of time with him. And Zach, um, he's such a character. He's a lovely little boy. And he's got so much energy. So hopefully today we can uh, do something with all that energy. That's it. Out of here. Beautiful. It is nice no, to no, sort of have so or to see a hands-on dad, but I do feel that he could do more to provide for exactly. those children. I mean, there's various things down there are annoying me and I would have sorted out if I was down there. Just general clearing up bits and pieces that um, he could be doing. I take this bomb site's your responsibility. I think that's how I got it. Otherwise, it just keeps on getting messy and messy and messy. Right, so what have we got? Fairy cakes. Is that what we're making? Are we going to make cakes and ice them? Yes, sir. I am. I'm off to go bouncing, work on the door in the rain. I shall see you tomorrow morning. Because yes. you'll, be, you'll be in bed by the time Sam Gives gets home. Give us a squudge. Oh, see you in the morning. Ooh. Yeah? See you in the morning. All right. No night. I shall see you um, later on, Jay. See you later. Saturday night at the pub is right. Less exciting if you're nine. Do you get lonely up here then on your own? Yeah. Have you told your mum that? Mm, not up. You should try telling her so she might not realise. And tell her you'd like to spend some more time with her. Well, I don't really like living above a pub because me and Mum and Ivor and Calla um, don't get spent much time together. Tonight, Natalie's decided to work Ivor's style. Sam seems to do yeah. That's what I gathered from the manual and what everyone keeps saying. I'll get Ivor to do some work next week yeah. and things like that. I do work. <laughs> I just don't maybe do stuff that's in the public eye and there's a lot more to it than just behind the bar. Another busy night downstairs in the pub means it's another quiet night in upstairs. Mum was here now, she'd be doing what Natalie's doing downstairs right now. <laughs> Chin -chin. Chin -chin. I haven't cooked a Sunday lunch in a very long time. I can't actually remember the last time I did it. I think she's found it really nice to see the kids and have that time with the kids and have that time with the family on the Sunday. I enjoyed doing the Sunday roast. So it's been a while since I've done that. 
and to actually sit and eat one as well. With the kids off to bed, the conversation takes a more serious turn. The house needs you to go out and work, needs that bit of input from you, yeah. just to make things easier for Natalie. I've told him he needs to go out and get a life, but he's, he's, he's 21 and he hasn't got a life. It's very hard to do, especially with Kai. And I know it's, it's a huge change to do, and I would like to do it. And it's just case, I can't do anything for Natalie if I haven't got the money to do it. And I know, I appreciate Natalie, hell load. And it does come across sometimes, I use her too much, or I'm not, I don't say I appreciate her. And it is nice to do it, but if I'm finding it so hard to actually go out and get job because it is so hard to do it. You know, it's something which I need to figure out and sort out and hopefully Sam can help me and hopefully Sandra and Jackie can keep me on track of doing it. Uh, hopefully it's sort of coming home to him that Jay, he cannot carry on living the way that he is living and something has to be done. The only way I'm going to find that out is when tomorrow when I'm bringing rule change and we'll see how he, re he reacts. It's rule change day and both wives are keen to make their mark. Reformed right. smoker Sam has those. recruited some help. So do you know what that means? Uh, no smoking. No smoking. Do you think that's a good rule? Yes. Will that do? Yes. They are only small changes that I'm making, and I think they'll be surprised by how easy it is to just have their late lives changed around. In my home, Ivor is a smoker. However, he wouldn't dream of smoking in the house. So, from now on, this house is a smoke-free home. Right, OK. Just because you and Natalie are smokers, it doesn't mean that the children have to be. Smoking will find, I will find hard, but you will see me out there, regardless. That's fine, Ivor goes out, regardless. No. Callum Tiomi, from now on, while I'm here, me or Ivor will be up here with you as much as possible until you go to bed. Also, I've gone and brought you guys a present. I've brought a dining room table. We're going to sit down and we're going to have a meal together every evening. I'll be good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Jay. I've seen that you're a devoted dad and a house husband, but you need to get a job. Therefore, I have arranged an interview for you right. at a local pub. Right, OK. I run a pub and I know that you are totally capable. Yes. Ivor. Yeah. I want you to understand how Sam feels and how much work she does this week. So I'm sticking you behind the bar. That means no darts. No cards and no propping up the bar. You've got nothing to worry about than pulling pints. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> well, you're always saying people complain you don't do any work. This is your time to prove them wrong. I was shocked to find the ferrets in the front room. These animals are rodents and belong outside. So I want you to prepare the old rabbit hutch and make it their new home in the garage. Right, no, I might have a problem with that. My rules this week, I don't, uh, I don't I'm not happy with them well. in here. I think quite a lot was what I expected, especially the job and the smoking bit. And no surprise to me, I kind of knew that. Anyway, I think with today's day and age, everyone's very anti-smoking. But I've been smoking for so long, I'm not going to keep the habit. It's not something which I want to. I'm not so sure now the rules will stick permanently. I think smoking rule is short-lived. Maybe even the ferrets would be short-lived, but I don't mind. Yeah, and as long as they're not in here. You guys are all really busy, active people, but you don't seem to do anything as a family. So tonight, to kick-start my rules, we're going to go bowling. that be fun, wouldn't it? At the moment. <laughs> 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 
kids really enjoyed it and that was the main thing, to get the kids out doing something as a family. Skillage Ivor, it's pure skillage. Since I've been here I've only seen them in upstairs bored or downstairs saying can I do this because I'm bored. I'm glad you made that roll. Are you? Oh yeah. Good you did, isn't it? Happiest day so far in my life. <laughs> I don't believe don't believe that. So far, Seb. Oh, All right. In your whole life? Are you sure? <laughs> I've had a great evening tonight with the family thing because I was started realising that I, uh, while we were there that this is what I want to be doing with, with Sam and the children. So it, it's been really good in those of those ways, really. The rule change I made, it's for the kids' benefit, but. It's also for, for you, yeah, to sort of help yeah. you bond with the kids. I was struggling this evening with Callum. He's starting being a bit more affectionate towards me, and that's the first time. You know, he's a 12-year-old lad, and we don't kind of hug each other or anything. Yeah. And, and I'm struggling to deal with Callum wanting me as a dad. And For a kid to want you as their dad, that's a big thing. And I think you should be really proud of that. I agree. It's changed for everyone in the house. Bye, Stinky. This is the particular rule I'm uh, not up in arms, but you know, don't like because it's breaking and entering in my personal space. Do you notice the smell and that when you? It was the first thing I noticed when I walked in the front room. And then in front of the radiator, it's just yeah, because I hadn't done them for three days. I normally clean yeah. that every two days. I just think that they should be outside. I don't think it's healthy. You taking them out of the front room, even the house. When I've expressed to you how I feel because they've been ill. You choose to have these toys. bloody animals. No, I didn't choose, <laughs> she did. I wanted a rat. It's always Natalie's fault or Natalie's reason for you not doing something or whatever. This is my rules. Here's they've got. Yep. Because obviously there's different ways to pull. It's Finish all a learning process. That's why you're going to be trained, aren't you? So, yes. Yeah. So, keys? Yes, we've got keys. Okay. See you later. See you later. That was like sending my children off to school, that one. Cleaned your teeth and brushed your hair. <laughs> <sighs> you got this? Have you got that? Do you need dinner money? I hope he doesn't screw it up. Can I take your order for drinks? Uh, have two Diet Cokes, please. Two Diet Cokes, half or pints? Uh, oh, it's not much. Oh, ice and a slice or just ice or no ice? Uh, oh, OK. Right, two Diet Cokes and obviously two for Carver. Right, OK, when are you ready, Carver? Thank you. It's great for Sam to get me his job. If I get a full or permanent position, you know, I could go higher up the ladder. With all the ingredients for a family meal assembled, it's time to get to work. Step one, build a table. That's a bit wobbly. <laughs> I don't think that's us though, I think that's the floor. Step two, prepare the food. I think it'll be nice to sit down with Ivor and you because we haven't sat down in ages to have like a family meal. Step three, get everyone in the same room. All right, Ivor, it's Natalie. Um, yeah, dinner's done if you want to come up and grab it. Okay, thanks. I'll be up in a couple of minutes. Right, okay then. Bye. And hey, presto, dinner is served. Did you help the team? Mm. Yep, they both helped. Yep. Which bit did you do? Yeah, we get I all got the... the peas in. Yep. I got the rice out. I got the peas from downstairs. So, how's it? How's what do you think peas. of the new table then? Very good. It is it's very good. Stable. Do you think it'd be good to keep this room to sit and have um, dinner together all together? Yeah. It'd be nice to have family time, wouldn't it, around the table, don't you yeah. think? Yeah. Eating together, we just haven't had a nice family meal like that together in ages. You're going to get the cloth and wipe the table? How am I, I will. going to take it? Being around the kids 24-7, but not actually spending any time with them has been quite hard for me, because any free time I do get, I focus on my kids. So when I get home, I think I'll see if I can... <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you were going to try that then. And what you need to do, clean your teeth. Yeah. And get into bed. And I'll be up again in a minute. Okay. All right? Yeah. See you in a minute. Mwah.
You know, on a night off, that could be a much better evening. I mean, even if it wasn't a night off and we could squeeze that in for half an hour like we did tonight, that would be something much better than what we do now. As Natalie's rules go from strength to strength, Sam's are in danger of going up in smoke. So frustrating, that's why normally I'm the fact why I'm playing on the computer. Because if I forget something or no one I'm supposed to, like, I can remember it, but I can't just grasp it. Oh, I sit and have a fag, and I can't do that. I just personally feel that around the kids... It's not... It's, I don't smoke upstairs. Natalie doesn't smoke upstairs. No one smokes upstairs. I smoke in the hallway because my computer's there. But if I could put my computer somewhere else, I would. Fine, if you could put your computer somewhere else. So why? What's the difference? Why can't because you take yourself outside for a cigarette? Because that's a fact where, you know, sitting down and doing something which you've got to do, that inconvenience to go out and smoke. Passive smoking is It works, work. yes. And you were passing it on to them yes, by smoking around He's hardly them. ever at home now because he is at primary school. That's not the point. He is. Weekends, evenings, he's here. It's enough. I'm keeping to your rules. I'm not saying, no, I'm not going to do them. I'm saying I will smoke outside for your week. And if, you know, I carry it on, yeah, then I carry fine. it on. That's and I fine. don't want you to feel undermined or anything and why are you doing just it. just everything... I feel that it's all sort of half-hearted, you know, because you, you, you feel like you're doing it because you have to. We shouldn't discuss it around them anyway, little ears. It's my personal um, belief that you shouldn't smoke around children. I feel strongly about it, so that's the end of. While I'm here, it isn't happening. Tonight, Natalie has arranged a boys' night out for Ivor to bond with Callum, but wants to psych him up first. I think it's nice getting down here away from the pub and out of all the sort of fresh air and no people. I don't know, I've spent, you know, over the years, I've spent so much time coming down here, it's not something new to me. Yeah, really, you know? like the theory, like getting out of the oh, pub yeah, no, and no, no, the theory of it's that, brilliant, yeah. yeah. So you're not nervous about tonight or anything? Oh, maybe a little bit. Just a bit apprehensive. I suppose a little bit, yeah. But I don't know. We'll wait and see. I'll and see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. But so it could be because you don't spend a lot of time with the kids together. Sometimes it's um, hard to get a conversation going. Yeah. Because you're not around each other enough. Who is when they get to that age? It's like once they get over a certain age, they don't want to be hanging around with their parents anymore, do they? No. It's it like. No, 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 like, you bit, dropped me off around the corner. <laughs> he is a bit grunty at the moment. All right. <laughs> Everything like him, it's very hard to get into a conversation with him, even if you wanted to, really. So yeah. we'll see what happens tonight. Look at that. Ivan needn't that. worry as the night's off to a flying start. No, I haven't done this stuff with Callum before. Not something I'm used to. It'd be nice to maybe go somewhere where I can do something with them next time because I'm not about to start getting on a skateboard, I'll probably break my arm. I can't, I can't even go along the straight line on one. <laughs> and once I managed to do this, Callum would be really chuffed that I'm here with him. He knows I'm here and I know that he'll be happy with that. Having the attention off of Ivor is something that I wanted. He normally spends his attention down in the pub. Ivor gives me more confidence when I'm skating when he's there. Both Callum and Tiomi love Ivor to pieces and they're proud to have him as their dad. Ivor's just a bit nervous about that, I think, and with doing these things with the kids, he's growing more used to being their dad rather than just Ivor who's with their mum. It's Jay's last shift at the pub, and Sam waits to hear if his trial has been a success. How'd you do? Uh, I sat down with Steph in a moment, and she doesn't feel this pub's right for me. For you, right, OK. I think that was due because it's a restaurant. You're upbeat about it. Yeah, no, obviously. It's I'd been an experience. Take, I'd take everything in my stride yeah. anyway. Like I said, deal with it and, and move on. Yeah. That's one of my mottos in life, so. I hope that 
my rules will make a difference to their life and their overall quality of life and for Natalie to cut the amount of hours that she's working and spend more time with her family and with her boys that she's missing out on. However, the hours that she works, she does condense into almost five days a week. Whereas mine invariably is it's seven days a week. So I think it's time that Ivor and I reevaluated our whole family life and situation and is it time for us to I don't know, set new goals. As Sam thinks about their future. Ivor struggles to live in the here and now. Never really had a problem working behind the bar. Um, problem is, uh, my attention span isn't particularly great. Sometimes it's not, you know, not because I don't want to do any work, but the staff generally are managing it fine. And I love talking, so I tend to see someone and I disappear off and start chatting, and before I know it, I haven't been behind the bar for half an hour. So it, it's a bit different sort of being chained behind the bar, but, you know, it's not a problem. I, I could get used to it. Tonight, can you help me with my homework? Because I have to be in tomorrow. Cool. Which but homework is this? He's already enjoying spending more time it? with the kids. Uh, you know, do you know, rule change. Yeah. I would like to keep the bowling once a month. Would you? Yeah. So any other rules, Tammy, that we should keep? Hmm. Eating hmm. upstairs with our family. Yeah. Taking turns to cook. All four of us go out as a family once a month. Maybe at the very least. Yeah. The kids are just so happy, especially when they've been doing things with Viber. I mean, the pub, the pub's a good business, but the kids are missing out, and they've got to weigh up their options and see what they'd rather lose out on, the kids or the pub. Hiya. I'm sure we'll be talking about this a lot, but you've got an amazing lady there, Jay. No, I know I have. See, the thing is with me and you, I haven't got a job, and you're working too many hours and all this, and. Obviously, probably a month or two months down the line, you know, it will all change. If you were mine, well, you wouldn't be there if you were mine. You'd be out the door. You know, I'm not a lazy bum that sits on my ass and just well, doesn't I, want to do anything. I don't and know, I'm not, I don't know yeah, you. Yeah, precisely. Tell me that. It was our choice to swap roles. I mean, Jay was working for me and, and then Kai I had came no on. more money. Yeah. Yeah, see, I like the balance we have of the home and work life. And you're lucky enough to see the kids all the because time. Because they're there. It's not quality time. So nine times out of ten, I say I haven't got the time, so, you know, get out of the way. I motor on through. Yeah, no, it's surprisingly easy in the afternoons when, um, you know, when it's quiet. It's very easy for one of us to go upstairs and have some quality time for the children. I mean, yeah, I've never asked them if they'd like to spend more time with me. They, they would. Or not just me, us, yeah. as a family. As you know, I have a bit of an issue with everybody saying I don't do anything all yeah. the time. I stuck him behind the bar. So, <laughs> I didn't notice a lot of difference to my normal evening's work, to be honest. You didn't actually stay behind the bar the whole night, though, either. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible for either of us. One, one thing that, you know, I've learnt a lot from the very first day of the swap, and um, I just... I'm nothing without you, really. And we... Yeah, and... The main things that come out is we don't do enough together as a family. No. Can I get a kiss? Yes. Oh, wow! Hi, Say welcome home, Mummy. What was the new rules? Why Mummy wasn't here? Uh, no smoke from me. No smoking? You can take our no smoking signs, Dad. Should Mummy do it now? Yeah. You can have it in your room. No smoking in your bedroom, yeah? Yes. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Mummy! Mummy! Hello. Nice. I'm not going, I think. I dyed my hair when I was gone. <laughs> when when was you were gone. gone? Yeah, that's it. A month later, and some of Sam's changes have taken hold. No. 
Jay is taking steps to get back to work. Now at the moment I'm doing the training course for a forklift driving licence and once I've done that then I could go on to further things and hopefully get a job. In a year's time we plan to get Jay back to work because Kai going to nursery so it gives him a whole year to get some qualifications behind him. But Natalie's liking her love. Well the new job I've got it's shift so I do four days on and then I get four days off so I get more time at home. Um, I'm back to doing nights which is what I prefer then I get all day with the kids um, so it means I can get to spend a lot more time at home. But it's no surprise that the whole family so are back control. under one roof. Moving the ferrets out to outside I don't think that benefited us in any way possible you know what I mean if you have an animal why keep it outside in the cold when you've got a house and an animal is part of your family? more of those things.
dice los... Es 